In this video, we take you to the 2020 Florida RV Super Show in Tampa. We'll tour lots of RVs and see what's the latest and greatest. We'll attend some cool parties and rallies as we make lots of new friends. We'll learn inside industry information. And take in the entertainment and the sheer spectacle of one of the RV industry's most influential shows. Come on along! Our sunglasses are on and that's uh, evidence of how nice it is here. <laughs> we uh, look forward every January to traveling to Tampa and attending the Florida RV Super Show. And we're not disappointed. The weather is beautiful. The show is fantastic. So many great things to see. They've got entertainment. Lots of people. This is a happening. Now, you know, there are a lot of different RV shows around the country and uh, uh, the, sh the RVs that are shown here at Tampa uh, are not necessarily the newest. We've seen many of these at either California or Hershey in the fall. But there's something about January and Florida and 80 degree weather that gives this show an energy and excitement that we don't find anywhere else. So what do you think we, uh, we, we take these folks with us and show them around? I think that sounds like a great idea. So here we go, the 2020 edition of the Florida RV Super Show. Let's go see. All right. Turn the zoom off! In our years of RVing, we have discovered a real need for wheelchair accessible RVing. We hear this all the time and uh, we've not been able to really point to anything that wasn't a very expensive add-on to an existing RV until now. Uh, at the show here in Tampa, Winnebago has revealed uh, three new, just released three new uh, wheelchair accessible handicap accessible uh, Class A motorhomes, all with a wheelchair lift, wide aisle. Let's just go inside and we'll take a look at them. You come up in the chair and lots of room, plenty wide enough to navigate a wheelchair throughout the entire RV. Here's the shower, barrier free. You can just wheel a chair right in. So this means that those that would have otherwise had to leave RVing can stay and it opens up the door to a lot of other people that now can RV. Hello puppy. <laughs> One of the nice things about this show is they let you bring dogs to this Exactly, one. exactly. She, she just, she's a little hot, but she's used to shows. It is a little warm. I recognize you guys. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, my husband works for Winnebago. Oh, does he? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, puppies. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> when we last checked in with Thor at the Elkhart uh, Open House and at the California RV Show, they said they had a whole new entry into the Class B market. They started with the sequence. Well, now they've added a new one that they're showing here in Florida, and this is the Talaro. It's on the Dodge Promaster chassis. And what's different about this is up there, it's that pop top. There's a sleeping space in the back, and if you want to climb up that little ladder, there's sleeping space up there. Open corridor, you can put your bikes, your kayaks in there. Uh, you can sleep two single beds. Or you can probably arrange this in such a way that you can have one big full king bed. More storage underneath the beds. Lots of room there. Lots of storage. High-end uh, cabinetry look. Microwave convection. 
two burner Dometic uh, stove and a small little refrigerator. The bathroom does double duty as a shower. And it's got a handy little door here that will close and give you some privacy. This is 20 feet long and suggested retail is 106. Ever since I've been a little girl, I've always been attracted to the airstreams. There's just something about them. But this is the uh, 2020 Flying Cloud 23 foot. Isn't it cute? You got the little bathroom in the back. You have the shower with the frosted glass. Nice shower space, shower area, plenty big enough. You have what Airstream puts in that I like, the magnifying mirror, so that you can help get yourself ready to face the world. Sink, nice little shade to pull down. Window that opens up big. Lots of storage under there. That's interesting, the toilet paper is in there. More storage here, electric outlet. Very handy bathroom, toilet. You can shut the door on the bathroom. That close. Now we have a nice dinette, and I'll bet you money this makes into a bed. Lower that table and putting the cushions out, make a bed. Huge windows here with the nice shade, storage up above, storage. We have a hood over the cooking area. We have a fan to suck out the odors, a nice light so that you can see what you're doing. Three burners, solid. An oven, I like a real oven old-fashioned oven with glass. You can see what's going on. Turn on that light. You can see all over the place. And a double sink. Nice to have. You want to rinse things, you have that. Again, the windows, the shade that you pull down. Storage. Oh, we've got a waste basket. Comes with it. That's good. Put that there. Some drawers. Oh, nice. This is very nice. I love it when they build in for the silverware so it's not rattling all over the place. A couple of drawers. And underneath, heat. That's for heat. Pots and pans down here, I'm thinking. Whew. Yep, that would work. Leading the kitchen area, we come to the bedroom area. We can pull this to make two separate rooms. We have a wardrobe area. Have a couple of deep drawers, big, deep drawers. You can get a lot in there. This looks to me like a queen-size bed. Nice feature, the reading lamps, so you can sit up and read the pillows if you want to do that. Big window that opens up, lots of air, shade to pull down for privacy. Lots of windows, lots and lots of windows that open up, lots of ventilation. Above those windows, more storage. Continuing, when you're laying in bed, hope you got a good view of nature out there. Big window, lots of air, shade that you pull down for privacy, and you have a television back here if you'd like to watch TV while you're in bed. The cost for this 2020 Flying Cloud Airstream is just under 73000 Nick Schmidt from Sunshine State RV. Yes. What, uh, what's the big news in the RV industry uh, uh, at the Tampa show here? So Mike, there's a lot of news, a lot of stuff going on. It's the, you know, as, as our technology and as things are progressing with energy and with the environment and with wanting to, to have cleaner energy, some of, the, some of the things that are really changing a lot is, is the batteries. So the type of batteries that people use, the type of emissions, people want to have a smaller carbon footprint. So, so, so what's happening is first it was these lead acid batteries and then things kind of evolved to an AGM style uh, battery and then they started introducing a little lithium here, a little lithium there with some solar and now the Class B industry is almost completely lithium batteries, solar panels, inverters and no exterior Onan generators. They're, they're making some big changes to move away from that big, heavy generator that's on the outside of the coach. Now, I'm looking, you're standing in front of a, of a new model on the Ford Transit chassis. That is correct. So this is made by American Coach. It's called a Ford Patriot. This is the very first one. This is, this is, this is the one they made specifically for this show here, and it's completely energy independent from a generator. So it has the, the Battleborn, 
lithium batteries. It has a 3000 watt inverter. It has a 320 watts of solar. It has the Firefly system on the inside. So totally independent. You don't need a generator. Don't ever have to be plugged in. You can boondock, do anything you want, whenever you want. And uh, the price for a unit like this? Uh, 119 is the show price. There ain't nothing in the world that I like better. Bacon and lettuce and homegrown tomatoes. Up in the morning, out in the garden. Get your ripe one, don't get a hard Plant them in the spring, eat them in the summer. All winter without them is a culinary bummer. I forget all the I'm sweating and the diggers every time I go out. This is Missy Lou. I've been using your tips on how to travel with her. We're just learning to travel with the dog, so I've been taking your tips. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's spit that out. You know better than that. Put them in the salad, put them in the stew. You can make your own very own. Now you're looking to buy an RV and you shop all over the place and you're leaning towards this leisure. Tell me which leisure? The Murphy bed. And there's the Unity. Now the, the Unity Murphy the bed. The Unity Murphy bed. Not like what we have with the sofa, the FX, but you're getting different with the two comfy chairs. Right. The leisure Lounge Plus. And yeah. the big bathroom. Ah. And big TV. And big <laughs> bathroom, big TV. <laughs> now, do you have a dog? Yes. We do. A golden a, retriever. A golden retriever. They're pretty flexible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They like everything. They're pretty easy going. Yeah, it's very easy going. So what made you decide on the leisure? Well, your videos definitely help. And Dean's videos help. Yes. Uh, they're just made well. There's there's nothing that we have yet to see that doesn't work. And about they're the whole. stealth like. You know, they're We just... don't want the big we want the big bubble. To hump over the front. Yeah, they're just, and they have everything that we need. They have the storage, and they have a nice sized bed. It's almost a king. The solar now, the, solar. the inverter now, the levelers. We yeah, might have to do the new batteries like you guys just got. <laughs> You're thinking you might want lithium. Yes. But try it first. Right. Maybe you Correct. don't. Right. Maybe you don't need it. So you can lounge while in bed with the big 32 TV. inch TV. 40. 40-inch TV now with the sound bar. All right, so yeah. we both. All right, both over here. It's time to lay on the bed. Yeah. All right. Okay. Lounging. Lounging. Good. Oh my gosh. My gosh. It's almost a king size bed. Yeah, 68 inches. The yeah. mattress. 68 by 68. Yeah. I know it well. <laughs> All right, so Large you, have, bathroom. you have a lot of room there, a lot of headroom. Places and to put my shampoo, ooh. three and a half inches worth, big bottles. Yeah, big bottles. Yeah, so that's, that's just great, a lot of room. You can shut those doors back up. And a nice, oh, hello me. <laughs> So, oh, lots of storage oh, my there. my storage. All your stuff can go there. And up here. More storage. More storage. We have that storage and a couple of bars there. Yeah, for towels. Perfect. And towel hooks I like, here. I like the hooks. And then no, this is the dressing room. Ah. That's so nice to have the dressing room. Yeah, you want to change your clothes quick. You don't have to pull all the blinds. Exactly. And your wardrobe. Nice Huge. big wardrobe. Thank you for walking me through. Oh, now, do you have kids? Are they scattered here and there? Or? Three kids. So one in Boston, one in Minnesota, and one in um, Colorado. So, you know, and by the time we go see them... And grandkids then, you know, are all up in Minnesota. Yeah. So you have a need. We have a need. For an RV. You can go visit the kids and grandkids. Right. Yeah. And, and a comfortable RV. And a comfortable RV. Yeah. And you don't intrude on their... And you have your space. They have And it's a space. nice bed. We're sick of bad beds when you go and visit. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? <laughs> yeah. Let's go to the movie. 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 Come on, let's go to the Let's go, go! <laughs> Isn't it nice that they let you bring dogs? Yes. It is. Yes. Some of the shows they don't, and this one is, it is always nice. fun.
But I gotta ask you a really important question. <laughs> Did you ever think at this stage in your life you'd be pushing a baby stroller <laughs> with a dog? Never. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Everybody's having fun, looking at everything, the entertainment that's walking all around that we can watch. I think a good time's being had. Hold that just like that. I'm going to wave it over the four and take the four out of your hand. Oh, I, I put your card in there. I look at it. That's your card. It's supposed to be. So sorry. That was yours. That's the one. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Why you got to be so rude? like about a show like this. Uh, the opportunity to daydream big and then find exactly what's going to work for us. Yeah. Yeah, we're hoping to hit the road in the next couple months, so. What are you looking for? Um, that's what we're still kind of on the fence. We're thinking travel trailer. We want to go small so we can explore as many places as possible. And where's the first big trip you're going to take? Uh, with, state of Washington. Yep, with yes. the island. Yeah, we got friends up there we're going to visit, and so uh, we'll start local, um, play in the state, go down south a bit, and then uh, well, we're heading out to the northwest, great northwest. Well, we hope you find it. Indeed. <laughs> One night after the show closed for the day, we were invited to a nearby restaurant for a big meet and greet with several other YouTube couples. We couldn't believe how many people showed up. So this party... It, it, it's absolutely blowing us away. People are lined up to get in, and there is no room inside. Everybody's here. Can, no you, ever, be in. can you believe this thing? <laughs> and and all these, Jennifer's actually pulling me back because there's a truck. Because you are going to get run over by somebody in a truck who's had it, enough It'll be a great video. But all these people, look at them all, have come to, to this, uh, this party. Is this a privilege or what? Yeah, they're all playing. This has been just amazing to, to watch. Uh, so many from so many different places. Uh, and then... Are you gonna get them behind us? Uh, and then once you once you see the, the lineup to get inside, this is the lineup to get inside. This is where we're set up. So, so come on and take a look at this. We're all in here. And, and then inside here, it's just insane. This was our spot. We were here, but... Uh, it's too noisy in there. It's too crowded in there. How you doing? Great. Having a great time. Oh, that's great. So many people. How are you doing? Good. One good turn deserves another. Richard Seitz. Hey, thank you, Richard. Love your channel. Well, thank you. So anyway, this has been it. I mean, we got to go back in and say hi to everybody. But for those of you who couldn't come to this party, it was a party. Hi, I'm Carrie. And I'm Russ. And we're the Roads We Roam. And we became the Roads We Roam because of Mike and Jennifer. About two years ago, we were traveling back and forth from El Paso, Texas to Las Vegas, or to Los Angeles to go visit our daughter. Mm -hmm. And an RV passed by us. And we wondered, hmm, let's see if there's any podcasts that we can listen to while we're traveling. And we came across your podcast, yep. and we were hooked. From then on, it, it sparked us to, uh, to buy an RV, and then to uh, figure out how we can work remotely, and then to be full-timers. So it's all thanks to you guys. And we've been doing it for the last year, so thank you so Is much. Is it worth it? Oh, oh we love Every it. Every day, yeah, we love it. We love it, wouldn't change a thing. <laughs> And then there's this one, the Liberty Coach. Price tag of that one is only $2.3 million. This one, you have to take your <laughs> shoes off before you can go in. Ooh, aren't we fancy in there? If I owned it, I'd make people take their shoes off too. If I owned it, I wouldn't let anybody in it. <laughs> is that a pink poodle? Yes, it is. So how's your bird like the show? Loves the show. He's been in several RVs and he's picked one out. He just has trouble reaching the pedals yeah. when he's driving. He's pretty cute. <laughs> <laughs> like 
truck campers that were extremely popular 20 years ago are coming back being very popular right now as people want to go off-grid. They want a boondock. They want what the truck camper offers. And the most popular of all the truck campers these days comes from Lance. These are rugged campers that uh, uh, on the right truck can get you anywhere where you want a boondock. Uh, the, uh, the thing that is so amazing about these Lance campers is how nice they are inside. This is a great kitchen. We've got three burners, oven, microwave, hood, storage, deep sink, beautiful kitchen layout, table, all of this room at 55000 basically. Wow, look at that dinette. There's a lot Very of Very comfortable. Beautiful windows. We've got our television. Everything we need. Coffee bed. Yeah, that, that's where everybody sleeps back there. You can hear the air conditioner's on, so it's making a lot of noise. Sorry about that. But look at this cool bathroom. Look at this. There's the shower Dry with bath. that tub. I mean, come on, this is so cool. And then, Very nice. And, then the, 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 and uh, look at the size of the refrigerator. This is oh, a yeah. truck camper, Jen. Just what you truck need. Camper. Truck camper. And Everything this, you need. Uh, we didn't show the bed, I guess. Let's show this bed. Look how high that bed is. Uh, get you up there nice and you have lots of room in here plenty of storage it's pretty cool this is a truck camper and this is not even the biggest one that Lance makes and again no, the not. price is uh, 55 grand pretty much pretty much 55,000 now you Very see why nice. Lance is so popular so why is there so much room in there because you've got a slide Okay, this is the model we just showed you. It's the uh, 975, and the one that's a little bigger is right here. It's the 1172, and the difference with the, the bigger one is it has two slides. There's the side slide where the dinette is, and then there's this, uh, a rear slide. Uh, let's go inside, and Jennifer will show you what is different in the 1172. We're inside the larger model right now, which is the Atlantis 1172. We've got to get your legs up. Nice, beautiful leather sofa back here. That's what's really noticeably different about the That's one. the only noticeable yeah. difference between it's, this. It's got that rear sofa. Beautiful sofa with a nice window. Very attractive. Beautiful floor, beautiful leather, cabinets, everything is very nice. Layout's pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. And the price, not that much different. About 58000 for the 1172. You guys are my favorite, but don't tell any of the others. <laughs> yeah, we've Maybe learned an that. Because it's still small. We've learned that. Everybody says, oh, we watch you guys all the time, and 10 other people. <laughs> Where's the loyalty in that? Yeah. Well, I do watch you guys. A I watch it. I mean, you guys are very trustworthy. I don't know what it is. It's just a, you know, normal people. Normal people. I just yeah. believe what you say. It's the first time anybody's ever called us normal. 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 Thought, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me, I don't know if you know this, but there's a dog oh. in your back. Yes, I do. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? You, you guys are the famous people on, on TV. We're going from workaholics to full-time RVing. We're retiring in March and are just hoping to get our twin bed in um, in June. And so we've been following you all and appreciate all your hints and well, who, who's been studying. all traveling with you? Who all's traveling with yeah. me? Well, it'll be my husband, Carlos, and then our three dogs. So. Opie, Old Buster, and Teddy. Did I just hear you right? Did I just hear you complaining about it being 83 and humid? Humidity uh, he, probably 99? Yeah. yeah so did I? I yeah. mean, last week you were cold. Yeah. This is your kind of weather, boy. Well, I'm not really complaining. It's just that that's a bit of a shock from 9 degrees to 83 degrees. The, the first hour of the 80 degree weather was really good, but I'm getting pretty hot. <laughs> Let's find some shade. What is the status of the 2020 Mercedes Sprint? Nobody has them. Everybody says they're waiting for them. We're being told it's going to be end of April and May. Okay. And we've heard the possibility even to June. So it's... Jim? It's, it, it, it's an homologation certification process. When we went through this before, uh, chassis were, if you go back five years, chassis were supposed to be ready for consumption for us to use, build on in July, I mean in January. And it was almost April 
So I, I don't believe we're going to have chassis. I think the 2019s are, are here with us till June, July. They will be available early in Q2 of this year. So they're being produced right now and uh, will be available early Q2. How about the availability now where we've got shorties of the 2019 chassis? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we're past that and uh, we should have a, a good free-flowing supply of chassis for this year. Then the, the killer question of all is what's the difference between the 2019 chassis and the 2020 chassis? Is there any reason to wait? As you know, since you have a 2019, we've made some major changes on that 2019. So we really just carried those changes over to the 20. There really is no difference on the 20. In the jailhouse now, in the jailhouse now, well I told that judge right to his face, I don't like to see this place, we're in the jailhouse now, shovel town. On another night, we were invited to come and meet with a group of leisure travel van owners who call themselves the Flamingos. They held a rally right near the RV show. And after dinner, ask us to share our story and adventures. We had a great time. but I don't think it's very attractive to open your back doors and see a toilet. I don't know if you could pull down your screen or something to kind of cover it up. You wouldn't want some stranger walking by thinking they could use it. How you doing, Sam Steele? You can't say it's a face. Oh, it looks like it's time for me to go, y'all. Keep up the good dancing. <laughs> As much as we enjoy seeing all the new RVs at the show, it was the people that we met that make us the most happy. I want to be happy, 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 day and night, want to be all right, happy, I want to be lovely. the 2020 Tampa RV Super Show. I hope you enjoyed the experience as much as we did. You know, the warm weather, the sunshine, that sort of makes it nice every year too. Hey, we're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. We hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please do us a favor and like it as you subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. And don't forget to click that little bell icon and then you'll be notified when we have new videos up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy trails.